Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can hide or show UI elements like image, button, input box, panel or anything within your Wix website and for this you are not required to do any kind of coding. So let me show you how you can do this. For example, I want to hide the golf port section from the website. For this, if you check within available menus and option, no option exists for this purpose. So for this, we have to click on dev mode menu item and turn on dev mode button. This will open up a developer mode for us as like you are seeing in the screen. Now whichever element is selected, that element's property related information you can see at the bottom right property window box. And each UI object has different types of property and fields and events. Now in our case, we want to hide the whole golf section. So we have to click on the group golf group item from opened properties. We have to enable the checkbox for hidden property field. Within the tooltip box, you can read this will affect when the page is loaded. Now let's see the result. Click on the preview button and congratulations, the golf section is gone from the website page. Next important thing, how to get back this hidden group or element back. For this, we have to click on the tools menu and click on the checkbox of hidden elements of the developer tools section. This will show all hidden elements of this web page. Again, we have to click on this hidden group element so its property window get open. From there, remove the tick from the hidden property. So now it's become visible within the web page when you publish it. Let me click on the preview button and see the result. Now the goal section is visible in the web page. Let me tell you one more time, whichever UI element you will pick, that UI elements property become visible in the property window box and each have different set of fields and event handlers. One more important thing, for only hiding UI element, you don't need to set development mode turn on always. You just need to come into the development mode, change the field value, then turn off the development mode as like I am showing you within this video. UI elements will save property value and it's working with the dev mode turn off too. I hope you get something from this short video. So if you agree, then you can like the video and subscribe to the channel and we will meet in the next video. Bye.